What's going on, guys, man? Look, check, check, check this out. We got us a big old box. And y'all can see who it was made by. A good old Kraken, right? So y'all know what this is. Now, let me give you a little bit of uh, background on this. All right. So let me give some background on this, right? So... Back when um, Bishop, Bishop used to deal with this cat, cat named Ishmael, right? He, um, good guy. I mean, I just, just finally met him. Really, really good guy. Um, and it's, it's funny. Like I said, Bishop's bought a couple things from him in the past. He, you know, he buys stuff and sells stuff all the time. Um, both Bishop and Ishmael. So, <clears throat> Ishmael, um, gave me a good, good deal on this, on this, uh, cracking right here. Um, and, uh, like I said, I, I talked to him through, uh, through text messages. Right. So I hit him up, said, look, man, I'm interested in, the, uh, in the, um, the Kraken. I said, go ahead and, uh, you know, let me know the final cost. Right. He said, all right. He said, he's going to go down to the post office and he's going to, um, send me the price for exact shipping. I said, all right, cool. As soon as I get the price, I send you that money. All right. He sent me the price, the total price, whatever. So I go ahead and send him the money through Zelle, right? I send him the money off on um, everything I thought was good, but it kicked back at me. He sent me a text and said, uh, you know, you got to contact us for fraudulent activity because we don't know his phone number, blah, 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 blah. I contacted him. It took me about 30 minutes to get through to somebody, 20, 30 minutes to get through to somebody. Then they said it was going to take another 20 minutes or so to clear the payment. And I had to redo it again. So meantime, this guy is sitting in, <laughs> sitting in the uh, shipping department at UPS, right? He went to he ended up going to UPS, sitting in the shipping department at UPS, right? Waiting for me to do my thing. 20 minutes go by, still nothing. So it is funny because look, 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 when I called him, he goes, I, I said, yo, can I speak to Ishmael? And he says, um, yeah, this is Ishmael. I said, look, man, this is Lance. He goes, Lance, yeah, I know who this is. Right. And he goes, I said, how you know who this is? He was like, man, I know your voice. And I'm like, what do you mean you know my voice? And he goes, I know your voice, man, from your channel. I was like, he was like, yo, I watch it all the time. I said, yo, that's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Um, So that's 20, 30 minutes go by, right? This man supposed to be in line still in the store and all that good stuff. Still couldn't still couldn't get, my, get him his money. So I get back on the phone with my bank account. They said, look. Uh, whatever went through, it didn't go through last time. So we're going to push it through again this time. I was like, come on, man. I said, look, do you realize this man is in the store waiting on me to send him this money so he can ship my item? And they're like, you know, we're, we're sorry. Basically, you know, that's how it is nowadays. We're sorry. We don't know what we can do. So anyhow, it took me another 20. I actually think I waited another 30 minutes. So this man has been wait, was waiting for approximately an hour, hour and 10 minutes or whatever for me to send him his money so he could ship, ship my, uh, this box. Money, long story short, money goes through. Finally, I call him up. I said, Ishmael, man, your money's through. He said, bro, when I heard your voice on the, uh, telephone call, man, I knew you was legit. I went ahead and shipped it right then, yo. I knew right then that everything was good when I heard your voice. You know, by following your channel and listening to your videos and watching your videos that you was good peoples. So I went ahead and shipped it an hour ago, hour and a half ago. <laughs> Yo, appreciate that, Ishmael, man. I, I really do. I just want to give a shout out to you um, and everybody else out there, man, that, that, that watches my channel and, uh, you know, give me my cred like, I, like, like they do. And I mean, I really do appreciate you and everybody else who watches the channel, you know. So... With that over and said and done, um, let's let's get to this unboxing, man. Let's 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 see what's in this box. All right, so we got the, let's get the good unboxing knife. You know what I mean? The G Datcher. One for my man Greg. I'm telling y'all, new knife, man. How at them. They sell all kinds. They even got folding knives. Steak knives, katanas, got all that, man. Man, I'm so excited to open this box up and see what's in there. Y'all know what's in here from the title, but 
I just want to see it in person, yo. All right, now let me give you another little background on this. This ain't brand new. Like I said, he opened it up. He ran it for probably 15 minutes and um, sold it. <laughs> I mean, I think I, I may be the first one to actually buy a used Vessler. You know what I mean? Got a good deal on it, so I couldn't pass it up, yo, for sure. Like I said, thanks again, Ish. Um, but uh, here we go, man. Let's. So we got the box. You see what it is? Vessler.5. And y'all know I love my Vector. Y'all know I love my Vector. And I could not pass this up. I had to get this, yo. So, um, we're going to see if I can, yeah, see if I can open this, get my, get my knife again and open up these sides. I'm not sure if I'll be able to open it up from the top or what. Actually, you know what? I want to show what this box looks like. Let's look at the outside of this box. All right. So here it is, man. The Vessel 5. You already seen the top of the box. Let's see what the sides look like. Nothing really. It's spectacular, really. No pictures or anything. Life short, bash hard. What else is over here? Another vessel sign. Looks like the, the engine and the gear plate looks like over there in that picture. Yeah, another life short, bash hard. That's it. So nothing <laughs> spectacular on the outside of the box, for sure. So... Um, see what, see what we got inside here. Let me see, I already cut it open. Wow. So it comes with tires already on it. And it rolls right out. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure if this is how it came. Came from the, uh, you know, from the factory. From, from cracking. But, uh, man, look at that. Anything else in this box? Nope, nothing in the box. All right, there we go. A bubble wrap. Let's see what this is. Oh, what the radio look like. Let's move this out the way. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we got. radio that's all i can say about this this is whack yo <laughs> yo this radio is so this is uh i don't know what to say about this truthfully i do know what i can say about this it will not be used yeah what else we got here like some uh servo parts arms and Several horns. And then we got turbo racing. I don't know what this is for the radio. And that's it. No instructions on nothing. I already heard about that on um a couple Facebook posts cut on a large scale form. They say there is no instruction manual. You actually have to download it, which is I don't know. I guess that's a norm nowadays. They say they, they make it so it's uh you can um you know, download it and they can update it and all that good stuff right away. But there is the reason why this thing is here and I'm making this video today. All right. So, uh, first looking at this monster outside of this box, there's one thing I can say is it's massive. It is definitely massive compared to any Baja, um, that you get straight from HPI or King Motor or Roman. This thing is massive. Now I, I've never you I've never seen the you know the, the Roven Max or whatever that thing is, but um, this thing is massive. Um, I've never seen this cage before. Uh, this cage is uh, the SK or I think it's, I think it's called the SK cage by Kraken. I think a lot of guys run this type of cage on their um, uh, Bajas. Um. I don't know how I feel about the cage actually. I like I like the looks of this thing. It looks scale, but I don't I I don't know. I'm just not I don't know. We'll, we'll see cuz I heard that other cages can fit on here also and I actually have a SX5 cage over there that's been sitting in that corner for probably about 2 years that I may try and see if it fits on here and go that route. Um of course it has the what are these things called? 
the regular cracking, all-terrain tires, front and rear. These bones are crazy long. I mean, crazy long, yo. I got long fingers. This thing is like crazy long. Um, shocks, no, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, cracking. These huge shocks in the front and rear. And I also heard this cage is a pain in the butt to take off, so um, I'm gonna we're gonna see. How, I'm gonna try and take this cage off and get a little view underneath of it, also. But the uh, paint scheme is okay. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's got this huge basket in the back of it, part of the SK cage. Um, there's the gears with the clear cover. Um, I heard that these are 76 gears, so you'll have to um, match them up. You know, Baja is 74, this is 76. So you can use the Baja gear. I heard you'll be able to use the Baja gears. Um, you'll just have to different ratio on it to get up to 76. But this thing is crazy, man. It's crazy big. Um, there's all kind of mixed emotions on this thing right now. Uh, I... I was not planning on getting one until I got a good deal on one and I got a good deal. So I had to get this. Um, of course, you know, me being me, you will see the best out of this thing. We will make this the best running, cracking um, Vesla that I can see possible. Um, there are some upgrades at Taylor RC, but um, he's still continuing to make more at the moment. Um, they do have big block packages for this thing already. They have a big block pipe that you can get from Detroit and Taylor RC. Um, if you already have a big block for it or you've got a small block, Taylor RC and Detroit Performance, they both make um, a pipe for you to drop a small block in here. Uh, my man Black has been giving me all kind of information on it. He has one of these also. Um, so I just had questions about, you know, the clutch carrier, all that good stuff, gear plate, um, a lot of that. You know, I just had a, I had a lot of questions about this because I was actually thinking about getting one of these if I came across a good price, which I did. I, I got to keep telling you that I came across a heck of a price. So let me see if I can take this cage off and uh, we can see what it looks like from the chassis. take all this off to take that cage off they could have did better than this um you had a couple couple uh, pulls body pins i had to pull out these are the keepers for the rear of the cage you had um two side uh bolts um that came with nuts now all this had nuts on it also that weren't trapped in you know i get what they call them cage nuts they weren't trapped so you actually had to get a wrench to hold the nuts on every one of these locations. Um, these here. And then we had the front, the front bumper that I had to take off with four, four bolts and then two long bolts to actually hold the cage to the front. All right, so, so far, I, that's one thing that's gotta change. My man, John, um, he has a little uh, setup that he does for um, his cages to allow it to be quick release. We will be doing that to this, whether or not I'm using the SX-5 or if we're going to use this uh, this cage here. But let's go ahead and take this cage off and uh, see what it looks like. Cage got some weight on it too. All right, so here it is. I said, he, he got a little bit of fuel in here. Um, said he ran 15 minutes. Uh, we have a stock uh, Baja looking air filter here. All right. Of course, this engine is in the orientation of a Baja. Um, Kraken K320. All right. Now, I see a white isolator here, which is a little weird because usually the uh, Zenoas 
this is always black. Um, carburetor, I'm hoping this is a 1107. It looks like it has a choke on it, so I'm hoping that's 1107. Um, servos are probably okay. Cracking servos are usually fairly decent. Um, I'm probably going to be running a Lyco with these. I do like that it does come with an alloy uh, horns. I like that alloy horns there. Um, I will be changing this prior to a high flow setup and taking these skinny lines off and put my wing clunker inside. Um, like I said, Taylor RC, Detroit Performance, they make all kind of uh, upgrades for this. Um, I know they have this upper plate that's been in billet now. Not sure if the center brace is out yet, but we will be getting that. Um, the shock tower is massive. I mean, this thing is massive. Both the rear and the front. Massive. Um, shocks. They don't have the uh, stoppers in the front. So I will probably be putting... Hopefully Taylor will be coming out with those. So we'll have to replace that for sure. The good old cracking battery box. This is what we deleted on our on my Vector. We deleted that on the Vector. Um, it's too small, man. It's, it's hard to get everything in there. It is hard to get everything in there. Um, the steering assembly. The bell crank is real narrow. So I'm hoping that will work. The front shocks were on a serious uh, angle which is usually for um, turning more. You know, that's how. That's the reason why these front sh shocks are usually, any any shocks are on an extreme angle and for turning more. If I was running drag racing or something like that and I want to go straight, it really wouldn't matter, but usually they're stood up a lot more on end because you're not really trying to turn. Um, like I said, 320 exhaust pipe right at the shock tire. This is coming off. I ain't worried about that. This whole engine is coming off. I'm not worried about that. Um, but um, chassis, nice thick chassis. I'm pretty sure that's where most of the weight comes from on this thing. So I'm sure they'll be coming out with a lightened chassis for that. And I will more than likely be getting it. So engine wise, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay small block or if I'm going to go big block yet. I'm not haven't quite figured it out yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Let's um see if we can go to this side. Let me see what's going on with this uh, transmission. So this has a slipper clutch. Um, so does the uh, Vector has a slipper. Um, I will not be running this. I will probably be using uh, Blackbone when it comes out with this uh, setup so that we can use all of my Baja gears to make this thing find out what the best uh, ratio is for it. So the slipper clutch will probably be coming off using all Blackbone. Um, the gear plate is interesting. So it's all one piece, right? You got your gear plate, you got the brake mount, and it all mounts directly to the clutch housing. So there is no Baja clutch carrier needed. It mounts directly to the clutch housing, which I do like. I like that. Um, gas tank is huge. Um, and this, as you can see, this piston port air filters right into it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't give you any space. Actually, they kind of made the gas tank out around it. Oh, the rods are nice and thick, that's for sure. You won't have to upgrade that. And they go, they 90 right into it. So that little quick release thing that they, uh, the Bajas all, always come stock with. So that's one thing. And it comes with nice billet collars. I like that. This is a good linkage. Good linkage here. All the way down to the, the arms. Of course, we got turnbuckles that are all um, cracked in plastic or nylon. Nice beefy parts. Um, they will probably be upgraded just because why not? <laughs> um, yep. Everything looks good, man. Tank mount. Yeah, this is this is nice. Let me show you what this battery compartment looks like. So I gotta get a battery for it. Like I said, I'll be running a light bulb. And then squeezing the receiver. Get that receiver out of there because I'm not gonna be using that stock uh transmitter. 
Another thing I noticed on this thing. Look at all these uh these shock positions that you can change on the bottom. The top looks like there's two of them on the top. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what these are for. I don't know if this is just for looks or if they expect the shock to come to one of these locations also. I don't know. But once again, no stoppers on the back, so you got chances of this thing popping off. So hopefully, like I said, they'll be coming out. I think Kraken usually comes out with a update of that. Now, they don't call this the version one, but this is version one. You know, of course, they release it. And then they let you, you know, get the feedback from us. And then they make revisions <laughs> and then make them better and uh, make it happen. So, yeah, but the transmission, some nice big old bones down in there. Yep. Man. Uh, and then we have, we have a location for um, anti-sway bars. All right. All right. Yep. They got the cutout here for the anti sway bars. Also. Now, is this an awesome kit? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I like cracking. I do. I really do like cracking. I love my vector. You know what I mean? Um. So I had to. I I had to get this. Um. Is there room for improvement? Of course. Every RC that comes out, there's always room for improvement. Um, that cage thing, shame on you cracking for that. Y'all should not have done that. I mean, if anything, they should have made it so this is hinged. So you just had your release pins here, body pins here. You take those body pins out, and then this thing fold forward or something. That would have been perfect. So all in all, I'm ready to get this thing rocking and rolling, man. Um, Y'all stay tuned. As, uh, I got a little something for this thing. Once I figure out if it's going to be small block or big block, small block, I got something for this thing, and big block, I got something for this thing. So either way, we're going to make this thing move. Um, so you guys stay tuned, sit back for the ride, enjoy it, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Yeah, this is a nice, nice buggy right here. Out.